Hello and welcome to this tutorial about the Blur tool. As you would expect from the name, the Blur tool adds blur to your image. The Blur tool also offers various filters which determine how that blur is created. These filters are Box, Bartlett, Multibox, where you can also select the number of passes, and Gaussian Blur. To best see the differences between these filters, we can use a rather small background, in this case 10 by 10 pixels, with a mask masking out just a single pixel, and viewing that background set to fit in the view with the smooth resize off. We also crank up our blur size. Gaussian blur is the default value. Box gives you a very simple box blur. Bartlett a slightly more advanced roundish looking blur and multi-box a blur which still is fast but where you can also set the number of passes on that blur tool. As always in real life these filters come with a trade-off between blur quality and speed but in many cases it might be sufficient or actually wanted to use just a box blur. You can also limit the blur to either X or Y only, like so, or apply different blur values in X and Y. The clipping mode determines if the blur is limited to the extent of the frame, which is the default, to the domain or if there's no limitation at all. Let's set the blur size to something like 1000. Although the blur is now almost invisible, you can tell from the color values at the bottom of the interface that there is something going on. If it's limited to frame, the blur will be limited to the 10 pixel by 10 pixel extent of the image. If we limit it to the domain, it will be limited to the incoming domain of definition from the background tool. If we limit it not at all, it will question as much image data from the upstream tools as needed to calculate a blur of that size, which in this case leads to a domain of definition that goes from minus 11, minus 11 to 21, 21. This is comparably small, but coming from a 10 by 10 image, you can clearly see that a huge blur size with no clipping at all leads to at least nine times the memory consumption as the original image. Working on 4K material, this might be quite huge. So, use the non-clipping mode with caution. 